Hey, welcome back to Low Ballin' Outdoors. I'm Alex. Well, today we picked up something super cool. Cream lure. This is the little fish and favorites pack. Super cheap, you gotta pick one of these up. We're gonna be working with this in the super shallows. I brought a couple of light fishing poles and I brought a bass pole for the cream worms. We're gonna try to get on a few bites. Cream has always been one of my favorite companies, especially when I was little, cause they had everything at an affordable price. You pick it up anywhere. We're gonna see how good they work today. All right, so I think the first one we're gonna tie on is this one. It's kinda of got the black top and the chrome. So that should do us pretty good. We will try all these, but if we come across one that's just catching fish, we'll probably stick with it a while. But let's get this one tied on and see what we can do. I generally tie a polymer knot for about, about everything, because it's quick, it's easy, and it is like, super strong i think it's one of the strongest fishing knots that you can actually tie look at that done all right so we got this one tied on we threw it out there a couple times and it won't run right i'm sitting here trying to fix it but look at that look can you guys see what's wrong that bill is just absolutely not in the right spot so let me get Another one tied on, and I will bring it All right, right so we struck out with the first one, but let's take a look at this guy. This guy's like a little rattle trap looking thing, little lipless crankbait. I want to go with something shiny because the water is awfully murky because we had a ton of rain. But let's, this, but let's get this tied on and see what happens. Well, look at that. Sucker works. Caught ourselves a nice little bluegill. Heck yeah. Oh, let's get him off of here. We'll throw another one, see what happens. I didn't even have the camera running. I just wanted to test this out in the water, see what could happen. Pretty little bluegill, look at that. Absolute, yep. I hear you're getting let go. All right, see you later, girl. All right, let's try this again. It says cast number two. It was almost too easy with the first one. I wasn't intending for it to work that quick. I was uh, merely just checking to see how she ran in the water. It does have a nice tight little wobble to it. That sucker should catch fish all day today. Let's see if we can pull another gill off of this little stump out here. All right, so right out here in front of me, we have a few. So we got hit. Didn't commit though. We got a few uh, sticks in the water. We got a little bit of brush. So this looks like a perfect spot to catch us a couple of them gills. So what I do is I throw it out there. Oh, yep. We got them. We got them. Heck yeah. And we got ourselves a big old greenie. I love green sunfish. They're my favorite to catch. All right, we got a green sunfish. They're some of my favorite to catch. They're absolutely gorgeous, those little green stripes in here, but they have the big mouth. Makes them way easier to get the hooks out of. Okay, well, let's let this guy go. But look, he's, but look, he's got all them spawning colors. We got white fins, we got some orange. Absolutely a gorgeous fish. See you there, buddy. Let's try to pull another one off this log before we head on out. I like to throw it just on the other side. Let it sink just for just a minute. And you bring it back nice and slow. Every once in a while it'll bump the bottom and that's okay. Boy, they're like chasing it right up to the boat. Okay, so we got some aggressive little fish hanging out. Let's do this again. Here we go. There we go. Oh, and he got off. He got off. Dang it. He got off, but that's okay. Let's get us another one. Run it right back through that same spot and give him another chance if he came back. Well, if you guys can see that, we got a family of quackers hanging out. Oh, something big just hit the surface over there. Well, let's go check that out for sure. Maybe they'll hit a little my 
Maybe they'll hit our little micro bait for sure. Yes. Dude, we're hooked up. Heck yes. Look at that. Another green sunfish. Man, this cream stuff absolutely works. Just like it's supposed to. You ever since I was a kid, you know, I used to get this cream lures because they were cheap. I used to fish with them all the time. But look at that. As you get older, you kind of don't take so much stuff for granted. I don't know. It's super cool. Either way, see you later, buddy. Come back and fight me again. <sighs> that little kit, this is my favorite out of it by far. Little rattle trap looking devil. Oh man, my boy just came across a big old water moccasin. I'm gonna show that to you right now. Water moccasins swell all up and they float on top of the water when they're going. And uh, you gotta be real careful of them because you know, you don't wanna get bit. Hey guys. Thanks for watching Low Balling Outdoors. I'm Alex. I know I kind of got stuck with just fishing this one little lure. We're definitely going to have to come back and check out the rest of them. But do yourself a favor. Go check out Cream Lures. Go pick yourself up this little, this little kit. Go hit the creeks and have a good time with it. You can catch all sorts of fish. Just like we did with this little green sunfish. Check him out. That's awesome. Thanks for watching. Till next time, keep it cheap.